Hello, welcome, good day, and all that jazz. Today we are going to tackle another viewer request. I was recently asked how to create walk-on sounds for Twitch inside of StreamerBot. So I figured I would make a video detailing the setup. Speaking of Twitch and details, you should come follow me on Twitch because you want to be super amazing and stuff. So just, just, just follow me on right there. Okay. Yeah. Good. Now, unlike the welcome messages we did previously, this one is going to use some C sharp code. So I will leave a string command in the description below that you can import into your streamer bot, but more on that in a bit. Right now, it's time for that stupid intro wipe. Okay, so we are going to walk through four things in this video. First things first, we are going to need to set up a few directories where StreamerBot is going to look for and pull the sounds from. Next, we are going to set up the actions in StreamerBot using the C-sharp code along with an argument to tell it where the directory is for the sounds and a user info poll. Then we will go through how to nest this action with the welcome message action we set up in the other video. And lastly, where to put the action so it will trigger when someone speaks for the first time. So the first thing we want to do is create a few folders somewhere on your system where you can place sounds. You're going to need one folder named generic, which is where you will put a sound that will trigger for any ordinary user that will come into your stream. And then you can also set individual folders for every regular or subscriber or moderator, whatever. You know, if there's some famous person that you never imagine will ever come into your stream, but you know their Twitch username, you can create a folder for them that'll play a sound that goes, oh my God, holy sh or whatever, you know, just do whatever you want to do. It's whatever. Then all you want to do is place sounds in each one of those folders that will be played when it is triggered. The next thing you want to do is set up the action inside of StreamerBot. So first thing you're going to want to do is import that string from the description below, which will create an action and a sub action list inside of which will be the C sharp code that tells StreamerBot where to look for the sounds for the specific users or generic users. Inside of that action is where we are going to set up our other two variables as well. The first sub action we need to add is the add target info from whom redeemed. It doesn't say whom I added that proper. So you will want to right click inside the sub actions list and go down to Twitch, hover over user and then click on get user info for target. Now just set the source type to user and you're done. Drag that action above the C sharp code. And then the next thing we're going to do is add the set argument for our base sound directory. So once again, right click, hover over core and select set argument. In the first box, type in walk-ons and make sure to have the W lowercase and the O uppercase important. In the second box, you're going to enter the location of where your sounds folder is the base folder, not one of the folders contained within where it says generic or a specific username, the folder that's got those two folders or multiple folders inside of it. Just so we're clear. Are we following? Good. I trust you. You're smart. You can do this. Proud of you. Moving on. Select OK. Drag that between the C sharp code and the get user info. Now that we have all of that set up, we're going to nest this action within another along with our welcome messages we set up in that previous video. The reason for this is that we can only set first words to trigger one action. But since we can nest multiple actions together, we can have it trigger both the welcome messages and the welcome on sounds simultaneously simultaneously. Alternatively, you can just code all of it together in C sharp, but I'm not doing that, Tony. So just create another action titled first words. And inside of that action, right click and go to actions, run action, and then select your welcome message action. Repeat those steps. And this time select the walk on sounds action we just created. You should now have an action with two sub actions that are welcome messages and walk on sounds. Good. We still good. Still proud of you. The last thing you need to do is go to the platforms tab at the top of StreamerBot, which should open directly to Twitch events general. 
general but if it doesn't that's where you need to go you need to be inside of the twitch events general tabs inside of there on the right side you will see a section that says first words it's the same thing we use for the welcome messages right so just click on that box under first words and select our action that is first words i mean that's what i suggest you name it so you never forget it just works easier you know so select your first words action that has both welcome messages and walk-on sounds inside of it put that in there and then you just have to set the auto reset cache to something outside of the duration you will normally stream for and boom you're done you're a rock star well i guess technically i'm a rock star and you're more like somebody with a backstage pass that wanted me to show you how to play a riff of a song you like right but whatever you're still cool as shit okay Hey, Stuart. Yeah, that's right. Believe in yourself. All right. I hope this video helped you out and got you one step closer to dominating the streaming world. If you found the video enjoyable and informative, or one, one of the two, uh, please hit that like button. You know, hit the like, subscribe, maybe even click that notification bell for extra awesome points. If you have any questions or requests, please leave them in a comment below. I check all my comments. I always respond, sometimes two years later, just whatever. Otherwise, just leave a comment about your favorite food. I don't care. Engagement, sucker. Thank you for watching. I truly do hope at least one person or some of you found this helpful. As always, take care, stay safe, and I hope to see you in the next one.